Well, we was never in touch. Steve, Steve was a, I mean, he was a star. I was a crowd warmer. <laughs> yeah. Now, um, Apollo, mm -hmm. did you did you host Apollo right after Steve Harvey? Uh, no. Okay. I host right after Monique. Okay. Right. Interesting. The funniest part that I was Steve Harvey's crowd warmer. When he was the host, I was the crowd warmer for Steve Harvey. Wow. Yeah. What did that kind of consist of? Like, before he hit the stage, he was already... Yeah, I had the crowd going. You know, it's just... It's about just amping up the crowd, and, you know... I always, uh... Always looked up to Steve, especially when it came to dressing and things of that nature, but... Somewhere along the line, some kind of communications uh, didn't go well. Really? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and that's like where y'all just fell out of touch or something. Well, we was never in touch. Steve, Steve was a, I mean, he was a star. I was a crowd warmer. And I think I, I, I did something to offend him, so to say, from my knowledge. Uh, Steve used to dress and change throughout the course of the shows. Mm -hmm. And I used to change and dress out the course of the shows. So, um, people started making me clothes because they wanted their stuff to be seen, even though I wasn't televised, you know. And uh, I remember, you know, this is the time when Jodeci was out and, you know, all of that. So, somebody made me a, a leather jumper. And I didn't think none of it. It was hot. The crowd went crazy for it. I came out, uh, had on the, the boots and the leather, you know, and then... It was time to bring Steve out. And Steve had on some real, real hot, hot stuff. And uh, the crowd was going crazy. He said, y'all like this? Y'all like this? And they was going crazy for him. He said, yeah, this ain't, this ain't that, that leather, that leather stuff that these clowns or corny something to that extent. And uh, of course, it, it's like, wow, really? <laughs> You're in your city. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, wow, where did this come from? And so the people felt it right away. And then uh, I can, uh, I, I didn't think much of it. And then we started going on tour. I'll never forget this. And uh, this is how much I knew that I bothered him with it. We were on tour and we was in Dallas, the Apollo tour. And uh, they wanted Steve to just come do a segment to, you know, cause he had the radio show there. And they, you know, I was hosting the show. So he said, nah, I'm, I'm a host the show. So, of course, I'm on contract to host the show. So, uh, they, he told me, yeah, just give him his money, he can go. So they brought me to his dressing room. And he said, oh, yeah, I remember you. you the guy, who, you know, dressed. So right there, it was like evident that I bothered him with it. Yeah, exactly, out of all the things. And uh, so a friend who was running the show, Joe Gray, was like, nah, Capone is contracted to do this show so we agreed that Steve would do the first part and I would do the second part and that was it so years later I'm still hosting the Apollo till this day they got the big uh big uh comeback with Showtime at the Apollo hosted by Steve Harvey every comedian in the world got a call except me every comedian and even the people the people that run the show I was like, wow, something happened between you and Steve. So you know that was confirmation right there. And y'all haven't like connected. Never, nah, nah, never. But you know, you hear the stories, and I'm, I'm, uh, you know, I'm a small fry, so I don't think that I would have that much impact to anything. But you think the, it was like intimidation? I don't know what it was. I don't know what it was, and I, I you know, I can't speak, but I know I've seen what how it played itself out so mm -hmm. it is what it is